I think all that's really left to do is Raihan, right? What's our team looking like? Papa Boach forgot about you. Horsey, Tuna, the baby, Fortnite, and Flash me. What weather do you have, Sebastian? I'm gonna assume water with that name. Yep. Pelipper and Sligu. Let's think about this. I think I, I just have to like Aqua Tail or switch. Do I switch? And then I'm pretty sure Discharge will kill the Pelipper. Wait, no, actually, I'm gonna Discharge. Okay, I forgot Discharge was a spread move. Hold on. We're gonna Aqua Tail the Sligu and do like no damage. Then we're gonna Discharge. We're gonna be immune on Barboach. It's gonna work out. Just watch. That did way more damage than I thought. That's good. Critical hit. There's the discharge. Look at, look at these VGC strats. Yeah, see this one's this one's Sun. Nine Tails and Turdinator. What is that? Oh my gosh, I got punished. Oh, it's still the damage though. Wait, what does Shell Trap do? Oh. Okay, horse he's still alive. Make sure you prepare for the last turn they have hail. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I had no idea. Okay, I don't think Nine Tails gets so actually Nine Tails might get Solar Beam. I'm just gonna stay in. Screw it. There's no way Horsey dies, right? It's just not possible. Good damage. There's Flamethrower. It's the P2. We have an Eviolite. We can tank that. There's the Tri Attack. Boom. Gym Trainer Aria. Abomas. No, wait, Hakmo. What? I mean, I guess that works. We have a Psychic Pokemon, but still. Let's Flame Wheel that. Okay. Math time. Dazzling Gleam is four times super... Wait, isn't Dazzling Gleam a spread move? It is. Never mind. Side Beam's just better. Oh no, Rapidash... Never mind. Maybe Dazzling Gleam is better because it's four times super effective. I don't know. Either way, I think we'll be fine. We get two 1-8 KOs. That was... something. Okay, I know he has a Flygon. I know he has a Gigalith. So, let's think about this. I definitely want the baby Because I don't think he leads with the Flygon. The Flygon is his Dynam... No, the, the Duraludon is his Dynamax. So he leads with the Flygon, I think? So I'm gonna leave with the baby. With the Duraludon. How do I beat Duraludon? The Sandicon. I know the Sandicon has the ability where it like when it dies, it sets up hail. Or not hail. Sand. Fortnite's good here. Fortnite's actually probably good against everything except for the Duraludon. I think I might lead Fortnite and the baby. Gym leader Rhygon. And he's not dragging team. Oh, he does lead with the Flygon. Okay. That's fine. Why I lead Mr. Rhyme when he leads with a Gigalith? Why I lead Mr. Mime when he has a Gigalith? And then, if, and then if I didn't lead Mr. Rhyme, same person, why didn't you lead Mr. Rhyme when he has a Flygon? I guarantee you they would have said that. No doubt in my mind. Leaf Blade Gigalith. Flygon has stealing. Um, not if I kill it first. Goes for Crunch. That's still gonna hurt. There's the Leaf Blade. He might have Sturdy. No, he doesn't have Sturdy because he set, he set the sand up. That's true. Flygon can't stealing if dead. I want to learn Psychic. I don't want him to stand out Duraludon next. I want Duraludon to come out last. There's Sanaconda. So here... We might get another one double... Or we might kill both this turn. I think it's better to Leaf Blade the Sanaconda. And then Psychic the Gigalith. Oh, I don't know why I said Psychic. Yeah, Freeze Dry makes more sense. Because Freeze Dry might kill the Sanaconda. Perfect. There's the Freeze Dry. We get the freeze, we get bailed out. That's fine. It could, it could live with 1 HP if it's frozen. I don't care. And now there's Duraludon. So Duraludon is Dragon Steel. I I definitely want to switch out Mr. Rhyme then. This is just how do I do it? So I'm gonna Leaf Blade the Sanaconda. Do I risk the baby? Actually, wait, what if I dazzling? Hold on, hold on. Okay, this might be risky. I'm gonna switch Fortnite. I'm gonna go into Papa Boach. And then I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam here because Dazzling Gleam will kill this Anaconda and do a little bit of damage to Duraludon. And then if... I think we can take a Steel move. We're the same level. Is it gonna go for a Steel move? It might not. The AI is kind of dumb. Because I, what, I don't, what I don't want to happen is I don't want... To ignore the Sanaconda, it thaws out and goes for a super strong move. That would suck. You could go for a rocker still hitting. That's what I'm saying. The Sanaconda is still scary. There's G-Max Duraludon. I really like G-Max Duraludon. Let me say it's stupid. I think it's fun. I just like it. Max Steel Spike. It did go for the Steel move. 
It did hit Mr. Rhyme. It did kill Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme, your services will not be forgotten. Well, Icy Wind is a spread move, so I could Icy Wind. Oh, we have Download. Special Attack Boost, that's nice. So if I G-Max Earthquake, it doesn't hit both targets, right? Yeah, okay, that's good. That's what we want. So we want a G-Max Earthquake Duraludon, and then we're going to Icy Wind just to hit both targets. Lowering Duraludon speed might matter. I don't think it does, though. Look at it. We're a big fish in a little pond now. Max Knuckle. Wait, that's a fighting move. Okay, it went, on, it went on Papa Boach. That did like 30 damage. That might boost, that boost attack. And it's Anaconda's attack. Sure, why not? Okay, after the Icy Wind, another one might kill. With that little chip damage we get. Our special defense goes up. Don't think that really matters. Oh, we miss Icy Wind on something. That did way more than I thought. Sanaconda's still frozen. Okay, I, I think next turn we win. We're gonna max Quake. That's definitely gonna kill. If he goes for the fighting move, that's a little scary. If it hits the Porygon. If he goes for the fighting move on the Porygon, we might be screwed. But I think we can take it. We have the Eevee Light. And we're faster. So that Icy Wind actually mattered. That Icy Wind lowering the speed made it so Papa Boach was faster now. Oh, Drowler doesn't go down though, but the Icy Wind. It does it. We did it. Good job, Papa Boach. You love to see it. Amazing. Raihan, more like Elhan, huh? <laughs> Get it? Because he lost. MVP Icy Wind. Yeah, Icy Wind, surprisingly. Amazing. We do have a, a, a gym encounter though, which means we have a trade coming up soon. So here's Jeff, or their name is My Name Jeff. Wait, where did my- oh, Double's in the party, because he just got it. My J- my team. My name Jeff can have Double in exchange for Politoed, named Crazy Frog. That's our third water type, but honestly, because of the nickname and because it's a shiny, I might keep it. <laughs> Leon's stars aren't sweating right now, yeah. Three water types. Uh, let's take a look at it, though. The baby, level 50, good level. Holding TR94, I don't know what TR that is. The user fiercely attacks target using his entire body. Is that flame charge? Looks like a fire move. Damp ability, hydro pump, hypnosis, rain dance, and earth power. High horsepower. I needed high horsepower. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so what do you guys think, chat? Do we add Crazy Frog to the team? Or do we add something else? All right, pretty much everyone's saying Crazy Frog. We have uh, Suki. Suki, you can have... Where'd the Cupchu go? You can have Cupchu. In exchange for two... Okay. <laughs> Is that a shiny, by the way? Winden City. Here we are. To be the champion of Galar. That rhymes accidentally. Pokemon Trainer Marnie. I don't know why I thought she had mostly fairy types. This is a dark type. She has the, the big Attack on Titan looking Pokemon. That's a fairy type. I think I'm better off going for Flame Wheels and Smart Strikes then. This theme does go hard. Yeah, Grimace Snarl, that's what it's called. I'm just gonna Flame Wheel. Nasty Plot. This is a Bandit Flame Wheel, you're not living. You're not living. Dude, Mr. Rhyme would be... No, I know Mr. Rhyme is part uh, Ice type, yeah, whatever. But it would be so good here. <laughs> and it's dead. Um, Let's go for Flame Wheel. We're faster, of course. To a KO. Scary face. That's a little annoying. Scrabble's also dark type. I am aware. I didn't say it wasn't a dark type. Nor did I say it only had one type. Goes for swagger. This is really bad. My attack stat's already high. We connect. Okay, I might be risky and just stay in. Because if we break out of confusion, we're just sweeping. I mean, I guess it, it would make more sense to switch and go into wish cash here. You know, I'm just going to do that. That's the safer option. Because my speed's also lowered. That's kind of bad. I like your nicknames. Chat's picking them. They're trading me the Pokemon. They pick all the nicknames. And there's some funny ones. Another Swagger? Wish Cash Breakthrough. Breakthrough and one-shot this thing. You can do it. You can do it. Or 
Okay, next time. Next turn, you can do it. This turn, you're gonna do it. Goes for Toxic. That's fine, because we're gonna switch out for this turn anyway. There's the Morpeko. Electric. If I wasn't confused, I might have stayed in. Um, Electric Fairy. No, Electric Dark. Bandit Highest Horsepower should be good. And it was good. And now the Grimace Snarl. Let's think about this. Grim Snarl. Do I go into Tuna and just Poison Jab it? I have not used Tuna all day, so why not? I'm gonna Dynamax. Boosh. Max Ooze. I don't know why I'm mashing A as if that's going to help at all, but I am. <laughs> She's going to Dynamax now. This is fine. We can we can do this. We can we can get out of this battle just fine. Tuna can probably live a hit. But can we two shot? Or even one shot. Easy two shot. Okay, and we're faster. That's going to boost our special attack, which doesn't really do anything, but sure. And then Grimace Snarl is going to go for Max Snooze after the Max Ooze. Does that put us to sleep? Please don't put me to sleep. It doesn't. It's just a strong move. Max Ooze. There we go. Marnie has been defeated. On to the next round. G Max News is base basically damage and yawn. So it does put us asleep just later. Starts with double. Okay, maybe I should have started with Rapidash. Actually, depends on what we get off this download. I might stay in. It's attack. Okay. Yeah, let's just switch. Let's not mess around. Let's go to Horsey. Choice Banded Fire Moon. Get the KO. We might actually knock out through the Cotton Guard. Oh my gosh, was I mistaken. Let's get a crit or a burn. This is a choice banded stab flame wheel. Okay, one more might not kill. Dude, I'm healing. Screw it. I'm healing. World's strongest sheep sure is. Flame wheel. After the body slam. We got full parried three times in a row. This time for real. This is the one chat. I believe. Reversal? Now you go for this? Well, now you're dead. Double, I hate you. We're gonna get- okay, we went for so many moves and get a crit that the Leaf Blade has to crit. Right? Heavy Slam. That shouldn't do that much damage. That's fine. So he already used his potion, so if this Leaf Blade doesn't knock out, which I don't think it will, he probably won't, uh, heal. They get the Battle Pass? Apparently I do. <laughs> gambler's Policy? Yes, that is 100% Gambler's Policy. With but still. Wait, what move was- did it just body slam me? I didn't see what move that was. Does Snorlax have Scrappy? Oh, he's heavy slam again. It just got a crit. We got the knockout though. That's all that matters. It's a Corviknight. This should be an easy knockout with Flash Me. You can do it, Porygon 2. Download special attack, please? Yes! Okay, there's a chance that Porygon just kills everything else on the team now. Do you have Sturdy? Oh, you just live with 1 HP. Okay. Goes for Scary Face. Lowering my speed. So you might be faster than me now. Goes for Swagger. Skillfully dodged. Perfect. 
Perfect gameplay. Just ignore the double apart. Pinch Urchin. I can stay in a try attack. Yo guys, look, it's Palladian Snob. Easy one hit KO, critical hit. That's not really the point where we want to get a crit, but I think the crit did matter. And then his starter. Cinderace. I probably should just went to Wishcash, but I'm going to Dynamax. What does Max Strike do exactly? Just 130, lower speed stat. Let's go. Dynamax Porygon 2. He's not gonna have a fighting move. There's no way. Dynamax, Cinderace. It has double kick? No, it doesn't. And either way, it probably wouldn't kill. Let's go, Porygon 2. Max Knuckle. Max Knuckle, but he kicks me. Look at that damage. That was a fighting move. Look how little damage that did. It's like, that's like, not even like a quarter damage. Not even close to a quarter. That tickled me. Look at that. That's damage now. Porygon 2 does the damage, not you. Speed drop. You should still be faster though. Max Knuckle, please. Down goes Hop. Hop, you will never be champion. Dual Masters were like a Japanese made card game, similar to MTG me mechanically, and the anime had a fun gag dub, but it failed so much. Yeah, the, I know the dub, they tried to make it more parody of Yu Gi Oh! Like, they broke the fourth wall all the time in the dub. You should watch Yu Gi Oh! Season 0. I've seen that. I saw that when I was a kid. I saw that, and I saw an anime called Chosuku Spinner, which was an anime about yo yo's. And I loved it when I was a kid. I was like 11 years old. I watched that and Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0. Which I don't know why I didn't get more into anime when I was a kid. Because I I liked Naruto, but I didn't watch it that much. I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! I loved Pokemon, of course. Beyblade. But like, I, I feel like if I just watched like Zotch Bell more and uh, like Inunasha and stuff that was on at the time, I would have probably loved it. But I just never did. Yo-Yo anime sounds baller. I mean, it's super outdated in terms of, like, yo-yo technology. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. If you guys didn't know, I really like yo-yos. I have a yo-yo right here. I have another one here. I really like yo-yos. So, okay, this is probably... To okay, here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to end the stream now. Thursday, we're going to stream the finale. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the finale. Uh, we're going to beat the game and stuff. Uh, I'm going to end the stream now, but I, I do have a redirect. You guys will be sent to Powder's stream. So say hello over to Powder. Uh... And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And bye bye.